Hello and welcome to About the House. The Joint Select Committee on Constitutional Recognition relating to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples has reached a milestone with an interim report tabled during the winter break. Committee co-chairs Julian Lisa and Senator Patrick Dodson joined us to discuss what the committee has learned so far and the work yet to be done. I think it's been uh, really fascinating for me. I come to the perspective, I come from the perspective of an interest in constitutional law, which is how I think I've come to be the government's chair on, on this committee. But my background hasn't been in Indigenous policy, I, so I've been learning a lot as we've been going. Um, we spent time in the Northern Territory, in the Kimberley, we've been to most of the state capitals. Uh, it's been interesting hearing from Indigenous people uh, in their communities uh, around some of the issues that face them. Uh, it's been interesting uh, uh, hearing from some of the national and state representative bodies around the country as well. Um, we are going to conduct more hearings uh, around the country between now and the time of the, of the final report. We can't conduct the level of consultations that the Referendum Council or the expert panel did, but I think what we're trying to do is get a, a sense of, uh, of the flavour of Indigenous desires here in relation to what the voice might look like. And very clearly we've been discussing with people who've had experience in the past, uh, ex-directors uh, of, of departments that have administered Aboriginal Affairs or oversight of the ATSIC Commission, uh, ex-ministers uh, in, in uh, Fred Cheney and, and uh, Amanda Vanstone who put uh, submissions to us and uh, gave us the benefit of their, their experiences which, which is really helpful in terms of how do you go forward in a constructive way. Uh, I think if I was to characterise generally People are wanting to find an outcome here. They're wanting to find a more effective way that the First Nations people can have their say and we can be more effective in, in, the, in our efforts to close the gap in, in getting better returns on our public sector outlays and enabling people, particularly at a regional level and local level, to be more effective in how policies and strategies can be adopted to deal with the day-to-day -day of matters that affect their lives. The interim report is one step in a larger journey and the committee is calling for more community feedback on the pathways they've now identified. The committee is welcoming submissions until Monday the 17th of September. The interim report is a way of effectively saying, well, here's some of the things that we've heard, now we'd like some reactions to it. Um, the submissions on the interim report close in the middle of September and we really want people to have a look at uh, uh, the principles uh, behind the voice, we want them to have a look at uh, some of the models that we've put forward, we want them to answer some of the questions there, we want them to look at what truth telling and agreement making might mean um, and to, to really respond to it. A lot of constructive views have been put, uh, we haven't got a concluded view on any of that. Um, there's been positions put to us over the, the entrenchment question, over the referendum question, uh, that's got a long way to go as well because there are differing views. Um, propositions that have been given to us about that uh, but we've got uh, and, and we have challenges over the truth telling and agreement making how, how to structure that how, how would it be most productive for the Australian population moving forward and I think that that's where our committee has been focused and how to be respectful to the First Nations peoples so that they can be participants in any design of legislation or any of these mechanisms that are going to have to be bedded down. Thanks for watching. The committee is welcoming submissions until Monday the 17th of September. To have your say on constitutional recognition or to read the interim report, visit aph.gov.au forward slash JSCCR.